Having a Lambo Ferrari now doesn't mean you've got money. Having a nice watch doesn't mean you've got money. Mm. Go and see where someone lives. Look at look at their house. You understand? There's a lot of people who have these cars. They live in a home with their parents. Yo, people, what's happening? We are on the route to where are we going? Weybridge. Weybridge, yeah. Ben's world. Yanomai's live. is going to have a sick car show today. We want to go down and speak to some people, see some banging cars as well. I was up early. I'm tired, not going to lie. I'm going to get coffee and I'm going to perk up. This is the Rolls Royce Cullinan, which I heard about today, but it looks amazing inside, super luxury. Hopefully you can speak to the owner in a second. What did you do for a living, man? How did you get this car? I'm a currency trader. Really? Yeah, I teach people how to trade, yeah. What's been like the best month you've had recently, just so people know how well you've done? Um, trading wise, I mean, I've created an automated system, so that pretty much trades for me now. So. I think there's a massive misconception. Everybody thinks they, you make so much money every single month, but you've got to look over the long term. So yeah, some months yeah, are really yeah. good, some months are kind of average. Yeah. So it just goes a little bit up and down, but yeah. if you just stick with it over the collective months, yeah. you, you, make, you make some strong returns. So if I had like 5K now, how would I invest it in the market? Well, if you was going to start with 5K, I definitely wouldn't trade your own capital. There's things now called funded trading accounts. Okay. So if you can trade, you can pass an assessment, a prop firm would give you like 100K or 200K to trade with. What, real so money? Can, real money. So you can exponentially create a massive, massive return in comparison to what you get for 5K. So like 10% on 5K is like 500 quid. You do 10% on 100K, you got 10 yeah, Gs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Flip, man. Minus the profit share. So they take like 20%, you keep 80%. So use other people's money. Use other people's money, man. Flip, man. Leverage, leverage what's around you. The year before I bought the car, I actually went out to the showroom to sit in it, to get a feel of it, get a smell of it, to visualize it. Because I thought, how can I try manifesting something? Yeah, I don't yeah. know what it's like to sit in it. I haven't seen one in the flesh, had time around it, all of that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think it helps because it gives you like, um, Almost like a purpose. It's a bit more but, tangible. Yeah, it's tangible, I guess. like I said. Yeah, it's just because yeah. how can you imagine something? You want something, you don't. You need to get so close to it yeah. for it to go so far. And so what do you do for a living? About plumber. Plumber, yeah. Yeah. What's like the best year you've had or the best month you've had doing the plumbing stuff? Uh yeah. The business is obviously turns over about twenty million a year, sort of nice. thing. So it does produce quite a bit. So good, man. you know, yeah, it does all right. But yeah. it started off. Um, Kev Watt started it from scratch like 20 years ago. Yeah, again, started plumbing and yeah, I've just worked my way up and to run the business now. So, Babs, what do you do for work? Uh, distribution. So distribution. import, export. Uh, what kind of things are you importing and exporting? Many home and garden products, like stuff that you see in like Tesco's, Costco's, okay. um, Amazon and stuff like that. So import, export, yeah. How did you get into that? Uh, when I was like eight, 17, 18, I went to China, just on the brink of it and learned about manufacturing and importing products and bringing in my first product, a HDMI cable. I took off from there, bro. Crazy, man. And then what advice would you give to someone who wants to get into the import-export business like you? Um, go go to like, if, you, if you're importing from like China, wherever you import, learn the process before you just go on like Alibaba mm -hmm. and try and import something from the brink of it. Go there, try if you can go there and learn the whole process of how everything's from manufacturing to importing and then do it. Don't just try and get buy something from Alibaba and expect it to arrive and to be good. <laughs> Yeah. And then what advice would you give to your younger self? Enjoy the process rather than stressing about the process. Yeah? Yeah. You probably wanted to get to success before yeah. the time was right. Way success, everyone's, it, well, once you hit a certain level, then you expect more, you expect more. Mm. Rather, if you enjoy the process, whatever you want will come by itself, man. MG GT four-door Brabus as well. Oh, look at this. Ridiculous, man. What businesses do you have at the moment? Um, so, real estate company. Mm -hmm. um, I've also got a tech company, a serviced office company, a bar company, and a cafe company. God, how have you got time? <laughs> I don't. Whoa. Just kept working and grafting. Yeah? So. A lot of people are in property here. Yeah. Is it a good thing to get into today? Yeah, property is what got me started. So, I started out in that, and then from that, decided to move into other things, and it yeah, just yeah, kind of yeah. went from that. When I first started out, it was just purely I saved up enough money to get my first property. I bought that from auction, rented it, the bank then loaned against it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than spend the money, yeah. I kept reinvesting, reinvesting, reinvesting. Just growing the portfolio. Exactly that. Exactly wow, that. Okay. What do you do for a living to be able to get a car like this? Yeah, so our family is in real estate. Okay. Yeah, we're throughout the UK, mostly in the Buckinghamshire and South East. What in particular in real estate? What do you do? Like So we started off in, what can I say? We started in rentals. Rental incomes, uh, like buy to lets. Yeah, buy to lets, and we've gone in commercials as well. We've got shops. We're in the restaurant industry as well. Wow. And yeah, just expanded from there. Sick. But now we're doing developments. How did you start out? Like, how did you get? Family's been in the game for about forty years. Yeah. Yeah. Mum and dad came here from India and started from nothing, fish and chip shop, 
then into a hair and beauty business and from there we built a property empire. So what do you say to a young 21 year old that's got maybe like 10k, he wants to get involved in property, what would you advise him to do? Like Rent to rent is the best learning curve to understand how it all works. So yeah, yeah. find something that you can find cheap and see if you can rent it out again or stick it on Airbnb and add a yeah, bit yeah. of markup on it. If yeah. I had to buy this car today, what would I have to drop? About 450, given, 450. The, given the rims on it as well. Wow. It came from Miami. <laughs> Sick. Thanks, bro. Cheers, bro. <laughs> Love the car. What model is it? What car is it? It's a 1988 Lamborghini Countach, 25th anniversary. Oh, that gives you Miami vibes, man. Mm, it does. Is it fast? What's the, like, the 0 to 60? What's 0 the... to 60. Four seconds, maybe five. Yeah? It's a bit slow. Okay, if someone wants to buy this car, how much would they have to drop? Quite a lot. Yeah. I don't know exactly. 50 grand, 100 grand? Looking around half a million. What's the best advice you could give someone who wanted to do what you do? Don't do it. Why? It's a lot of headache, it's a lot of stress. What you see with regards to myself, where you see nice cars, you see a nice house, I didn't get that from the rap game. Mm -hmm. And people don't actually understand that. I made my money in property many, many years ago. The rap game is fantastic for the wow factor and it's real cool to have all the nice cars, yeah. but it's very, very difficult to make a good, good living, to mm -hmm. make a lot of money. There's a lot of companies out there that are doing it. Unless you have the client base or you have a big social media exposure, yeah. it's difficult. So I'd probably say stay away from that sort of field. Unless you're going to do your own, um, unless you're rapping yeah. and you're not setting up a business. Mm -hmm. Because having a business is a lot harder than actually having a wage. Mm -hmm. And Nico and Mark are now learning that themselves. So I work really close with Nico and Mark. They've got their own business now and they're like, Jan, when I used to work with you, I had all my money every month and at five o'clock I can just go home. Guaranteed. Now it's like, I've got bills, bills, and every month there's another bill, there's another stress, there's another headache. So it's it's trying to understand what business is. In this country, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you work for the government. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then Thursday and Friday, you work for yourself. Yeah. So yeah, so I think having a business right now is, is very very difficult get a guaranteed wage every single month no stress no headache you can go on holiday and not have to worry about work so what advice would you give to your younger self to my younger self yeah get a trade I would have had a trade so I don't have a trade so I can't rap I'm not an electrician I, I'm not a builder I can't I'm not a plumber I can't do anything I would have a trade I think if you've always got a trade you can always make money mm -hmm. do you feel successful <laughs> what, what are people class as successful is it how much money you've made is it is it the family you've created Mm. Um, other people would say that I'm successful. Mm -hmm. I feel I've done well in life. Um, could I have done better? Yes. Mm -hmm. But am I happy where I am right yeah. now? Yeah, I am. I think people have a warped uh, like view of success. And I think when they see the cars and all of that stuff, everyone has you know next levels they want to achieve. So that's the reason. Cars, cars is, is, the, is the Fugazi, is the, oh, look, look at the car. Anyone can have a car. In 2006, when I had a Gallardo, that was a different level. No one had Lambos, no one had Ferraris back then. And if you did, you had money. Yeah. Having a Lambo Ferrari now doesn't mean you got money. Having a nice watch doesn't mean you got money. Mm. Go and see where someone lives. Look at look at their house. You understand? There's a lot of people who have these cars and they're living at home with their parents. Yeah. It's priorities, yeah. <laughs> what advice would you give to your younger self, you know, starting out your career? Don't give up, I suppose. Keep going. Um, and um, nothing, nothing that you want is ever going to be easy. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, anything you want to do is going to be hard. You've got to make some sacrifices, definitely. Yeah. Um, and just keep going. And keep, don't give up. Do you think there's any habits that you, you know, you developed over time to make, you know, get, make sure you get for me, to For me, it's being organised. Mm. Yeah, very, very organised. I'll definitely be waking up in the night and emailing myself, you know, you'll think of something, something comes to your head and you go, right, I've got, I've got to get that, get that sorted tomorrow. Mm. Or, so, uh, yeah. What's your favourite thing about this car? Uh, the weird wing mirrors, look, one's bigger and one's smaller and no one ever notices that. Oh, <laughs> love the car, man. What do you do for work, man? Uh, property developer. Property developer? Yeah, man. What advice would you give to someone who wanted to do that? Works really hard, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Cheers. What car is this? Uh, Aragon yeah? STO. Yeah? You've got one yeah. of the richest people here, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, you, you can't, you've got to pay that man to take pictures. Yeah, we'll pay you later, we'll pay you later. What do you do for a living? What's the day job? Uh, property. Property, yeah. yeah. How can someone get into property? Say, um, yeah, just be careful with your money and just <laughs> invest right. So if I've got 10K, how, much, how would I invest that in property? Oh, 10 k look, oh, you're gonna have to go further up north there yeah. and look for a property up there. I'm Yanni's partner, so yeah. between the pair of us, we own everything Yanamais. What's it like working with Yanni? Is it good? Oh, he's, he's you can tell us the truth. No, he's a good guy. Look, we, we have different roles. What he does, he does. What I do, what I do. 
and that's the difference and that's why we work. So what did you do before you did this? What was I've the... had several businesses, um, sold several businesses, I was in tech yeah. um, and then we, we put this together two and a half years ago. I'm going to ask you the same question we asked Yanni, is it a good business to get into for someone who wants to start a business, should they get into this? It's not easy and you can but to get it at this level now is yeah. very difficult okay it's very difficult what's the best way to start then for someone that's just starting out what would you advise um your network network definitely your network L look at the people around you look at the people you're working with and make sure your network is absolutely on point if you get your network right everything else will fall into place what do you do for a living uh, i'm a financial advisor wealth advisor if i'm trying to invest 10k how would you say to like where am I putting my money? <laughs> Diversify your portfolio. I yes. want the money, I want the returns in the next 10 years, so I don't want to do like a pension. Diverse, diversification, man. Use your yeah. tax free allowances, long term investments, um, the range, that's it. What do you do for a living? Um, <laughs> it's really, 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 really boring. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a program manager in mobile telecoms. You know? And what could someone make in your position, someone else? Uh, all kinds of money between yeah. 50 and 200. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm a software engineer. Software engineer? Yeah, yeah. How long have you been in software engineering? Uh, about five years now, and then also have my own company as well. So, Is it? Yeah, yeah. You're an entrepreneur. And then how much can someone make doing what you do? You know, software engineering first, and then your, your company. I mean, if you're working for a so as a software engineer in London, like I do, it's not, like, you can easily make close to six figures, like, within a few years. And then if you run your own business, you, I mean, it's, it's unlimited, really. Yes, guys, that was a sick episode. I met a lot of amazing people. Let us know what you thought in the comments. Which was your favorite car? There's a lot of interesting cars today. What did you think, Karim? I thought it was sick. Got to see loads of great cars. My favorite car, C63. Got to interview some SVJ guys, Ferrari guys. It was sick. But um, really good takeaways. And my, my my best part of today, I think, is seeing Jamal in, in the in the Cullinan. <laughs> so I can't even get my words out. <laughs> Yeah, it was sick, man. Um, make sure you follow us on The Venture Room on IG, TikTok and YouTube. And we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>